Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do some cute artwork. Um, Spike the Hedgehog, it's from a little book I'll show you. This is suited for kindergarten age children. And the art supplies are fairly basic. Glue, scissors, a ruler, some black paint with a paint palette. I'm just using a foam tray. You could use a paper plate, works. Um, some painted paper that I've cut out little balloon shapes. Some yarn, a little piece of cardboard, and I've got a black oil pastel, but you could use black crown, and three different pinks I'll show you in a moment. To do his body, um, I've got three different examples I'll show you. We've got at the bottom, it's a soft pastel or chalk pastel. The middle one is an oil pastel, and the top one is a pink crown, and they're all going to give you a different look. So whatever you have on hand. You also need a piece of blue paper, it could be colored paper, construction paper, blue painted paper, and the measurements are 21 approximately by 19 centimeters, not a perfect square. So the book um, that's inspired this is called Spike the Hedgehog Who Lost His Prickles by Jan Willis and Jarvis. It's super adorable. I just got it from the local library and when I do my kindergarten lessons for art lessons I read a book ahead of time and it just helps them connect to the art whether it's an illustration that I'm trying to demonstrate, um, visual texture style art, how to draw something. Um, today we are going to learn how to do printmaking and introductory. So we're going to start with an observational drawing step by step and just draw a little u-shape. It's almost like a rainbow or an upside down u-shape for his ear and a line across and then the same shape on the other side for his other ear. Then from the bottom of his left ear I'm going to draw like a little curvy curvy line coming around and do the same curve on the opposite side to connect with your other ear. And then we're going to do another U shape for his nose with a little line, a smile, two eyes, and some little lines above just for his eyebrows. Now draw a line from his forehead across down to the bottom of his ear and then another smaller rainbow or upside down U shape for the inner ears. For his arms, again, same shape, U shape or skinny U shape for his arm and then the same on the other side. Now his feet are like a, an L shape, a capital L, so you're going to go down and across and then curve the line back slightly and do the line up, down, across, curve the line in and draw another straight line up. And there's his body. Okay, to color him in, I've got three. First, I've got the, the soft pastel or the chalk pastel. And when you're coloring this in, it gives us a lot of dust. So you can use your finger and smudge it in afterwards, or you can just blow it away like you would blowing birthday candles. I like this one because it's very vibrant and easy to work with. Or you can try an oil pastel if you have this on hand. So I'll just show you it here. It's very creamy, um, goes on much easier than uh, a wax crown. I do work with a lot of oil pastel. I find they're much more vibrant than crowns. But if you only have crowns, um, that's okay. You can use pink crowns as well. It just won't be as vibrant against the blue paper, but you'll still tell, you'll be able to tell that it's definitely pink if you choose to do that. But I'm going to use the, the very vibrant soft pastel for my demonstration today. So go ahead and color his whole body in. It doesn't matter if you go over top of your black lines because we can tidy these up and go over them again to make them really vibrant. So grab your oil pastel again and just go re redraw the lines over top 
and you can see it won't even matter if you've colored over top of your lines this will make them nice and bright and vibrant again so just go over every line that you've done grab your paint palette and your little square of cardboard and dip the cardboard into your black paint you don't want like it gooping so you can tap it a couple times on the palette and then this is our intro to printmaking so all we're doing is making his little spikes just like that and you'll have to reload the paint every couple times just you can crisscross them. It doesn't have to be super neat. It actually looks more realistic if you crisscross his spikes and go all the way around down to his, I guess, bottom or just the tops of his feet. the balloon shapes and I love painted paper in the art room you don't have to use painted paper you can use colored paper but or scrapbook paper if you have it on hand um, I really encourage you to make painted paper with the kids it's really fun I've got um, a how to and why on my blog and there's so many uses for it so um, if you have opportunity to make it please do it's a lot of fun so we're just going to grab our yarn a little bit of glue onto that and glue it down onto one of his arms so it looks like he's holding the balloon you can use all three balloons two balloons one balloon you can add 10 balloons if you wanted i'm just going to do one balloon today and here's our little spike the hedgehog he's really cute well done <laughs> 